Hello, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video, you're going to learn how to use helper methods in Ruby on Rails. Exactly what's a helper method and how you can create your own. Okay, so I have this Rails application in here. Uh, I'm going to open the Rails console to use an alias shortcut that I have, but this means Rails console. Now, inside the development environment for this Rails application, uh, I can use some helpers. So what are helpers? Helpers are built in Rails methods that usually we help you, that's why they're called helpers, help you do things in your views. Mostly these are views thing, right? So we have MVC, model view controller. When we're talking about helpers, most of the time we're talking about views. And for the example that I have for you today, it's about formatting time okay so we have a method called time ago in words and this is a very helpful method if you're trying to show the time for something like when was this article published right and we show in a very nice way instead of just ha having a date it's going to show something like this article was published uh, one hour ago or one month ago, something like that. I'm going to show you how it works right now. So when you are in a view, you can just call the method like this, right? But we are not inside a view. We are on the Rails console, so we need to do something else. And that something else is to use this helper method and then we do helper dot time ago in words. And then we need some actual time as an argument. So let's do time dot now. And there is the output. It says less than a minute, right? Because it's now. So that makes sense. Now, what if I add some time to the current time? And we can do it like this. So we say time that now plus a number of seconds. So let's do 60 seconds. And that says exactly one minute. Okay. So that's what the helper does for you. It's converting the time into some text. That's easy to understand. That makes sense for the time. And we can change this. I was going to say 10 minutes or about two hours or about 17 hours, right? I guess all the way to months and years, so you can handle all kinds of times. And that's a helper method, right? That's an example of a very useful helper method that you can use in your Rails views. Now, did you know that you can create, write your own helper methods? Well, you can. I'm going to show you how right now. So let's exit the Rails console because we're done with that. And let me show you the helpers folder. So by default, when you create a new Rails application, you have this app folder, right? Well, there is this helpers folder created for you. And we can take a look and see what that looks like. And we can see right here, helpers has two files application helper and uh, users helper. So let's open the users helper. Let's open the users helper like this, app helpers 
user's helper. And you can see it's a module called user's helper. So pretty simple so far, right? So how do you create your own helper? Well, we define a Ruby method. So to define a, a Ruby method, we say tf for define, then the name of the method. So for this example, what I want to do is I want to take names and add something to the names. So let's say format name, I is going to take some user object. So that's our method, right? And now let's put something inside the method body. Uh, what's that something? Well, what do we want to do with this formatting? Well, for this particular application, let's say that we have a requirement where uh, males, uh, we have Mr. added to the name. Uh, females, we have Miss added to the name. So to do that, we need an if statement. So we're going to do if user gender equals M, right? Then we're going to do something else, going to do something else, very simple. So what do we want to do if the user gender is male? Well, like we said, the requirement is to do Mr. plus the username. So I'm going to use a string interpolation here. So string interpolation allows you to combine a variable with some static text, right? So that's what it looks like. And inside here, we put the variable and the variable is going to be the user's name. So there we go. And for the other case, we're going to do miss um, and also user name. There we go. Now we can delete this comment. Whoop. We can delete the comment. And we are done. That's our helper method. Now to use this helper method, you don't have to do anything special because Rails, as part of its convention over configuration system, it auto includes this module in your views, in all of your views. So that means that you can call format name with a user object and then you will get the result. So let's try this out. If I save the file and we open the Rails console again, right? Now I can call the method. What was the name? I think it was format name, format name, right? And remember, because we are inside the console, we have to append helper. Inside your view, you don't have to use helper. You just do format name like that. In fact, let's do that. No, no, hold on. Let, let, let me first show you how to do this here. Let's do format name. Then let's take our first user. And let's see what happens. There, there we go, we get Mr. Phil. Then let's do another user, let's do the last user, and we get Miss Emma. Ta-da, it's working. That's really nice, that's really nice, right? Now let's see how we can use this in our view. Now if I go to our app views, users and then the show action for users. This is an ERB template, right? If you don't know about ERB templates, you can Google for this Ruby ERB template. You will find some information about that. Now here's the name for our user. We want to add this formatting. So all we have to do is use our method and the name again is format name like that. So it will look like this and we are done. Now we have the new feature, the new requirement 
implemented to show the names user Mr. or Miss according to their gender. So that's it. That's how you use and create your own helper methods in Ruby on Rails. I hope you found this video super helpful and interesting. Please click the like button for me right now so I know that you like this video and so more people can find this video and benefit from it. If you want to learn more, watch more of my videos in this, in this YouTube channel have over 100 Ruby videos you can watch right now. Also, you want to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, so you can get more videos I, as I release them. And visit my website, rubyguides.com. Rubyguides.com. In there, you will find also a lot of Ruby tutorials where you can learn and become a better Ruby developer. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.